Hi friends, I am Anup here. I am in a rainforest and with me, Pit Viper. I got him from one of the amazing rainforests called Agumbe. It's part of the Central Western Ghats of South India. And it was like three days of journey for me to find him. And the first day we all tried to find him, but unfortunately we couldn't. And the same, second day, same thing happened for us. And the third day before packing everything, like we thought of just searching again and around like three to four hours we were into the deep search and i just i was wearing only one gumboot and with my camera i was just keep walking in the forest and like digging everything searching everywhere and it was very tough also it was raining and agumbe receives one of the largest rainfalls in india and and this forest is almost covered with the plants and the plants means like it comes around like one to three meter height plants so it's very difficult to find pit viper and while walking i just crossed him but i couldn't find him i was like just moving all the plants and one of the plant he was there he was so camouflaged like i not able to find him i think i don't know whether i touched him or he missed the strike or i don't know because he was ready to strike. The action was something like that. So that's what you're seeing in the image. He was ready to strike, like curved neck. Thank God nothing has happened for me because if anything happens, then it will take four to five hours to reach nearest hospital. By the time anything can happen. So the reason why I'm telling all these things, so if you are doing like wildlife something differently, uh, please take care of everything, okay? Please wear gumboot and uh, required accessories with you uh, to to self protect okay and this is one of the venomous snake in the planet and he will not hunt actually he will wait for the prey he will attack and one bite is more than enough for human and i think most of the people knowing about it so that is the story behind this photograph now we will get inside the editing part okay so before getting inside the uh, developing area, I'm going to talk about the EXIF of the image. It's not a big uh, EXIF I have done over here. So I have used 1 by 125 seconds of the shutter speed and f2.8 I used and uh, 100mm obviously 100mm macro, uh, macro lens I used, ISO 640 I used and Canon HD. So this is the uh, basic EXIF of this image. To capture this photo, uh, I used Canon 80D and the lens I used is 100mm 2.8 macro. It's one of the best lens for macro uh, photography and it's to capture this image, I didn't use any external flash over here. Okay, so uh, for editing, I'm going to use Lightroom and Photoshop. In the Lightroom, I'll be doing the basic color correction. Photoshop, I'm going to uh, enhance the action or enhance the subject. So this is actually a natural photo. You know, you should not destroy or you should not kill any existing colors over here so make sure that when you're doing the color correction maybe you can enhance some colors but without losing the natural color elements okay but small small things it will give you the more perfection to the images okay so let's start now i imported my image into lightroom adobe lightroom okay so my first step is to reset my photo so that's what I'm going to do. I reset my photo. So now I got the exact frame. Like, so there is no cropping. Nothing has happened to my image right now. Next, I'm going to uh, do the lens corrections. Okay. Uh, for that, I'm going to select uh, remove chromatic abbreviation and enable profile corrections. Now what happened? Len uh, the automatically lens profile is uh, adjusted over here. You can see make is Canon. Lens model is Canon EF. 100mm 2.8 it's a luxury series lens okay so i have done with that right now next i am going to do the basic settings okay profiling is nothing but camera picture style so i'm setting into landscape and in the white balance i'm not going to do anything the reason is i used automatic white balance so camera itself it's balanced everything temperature value everything is camera is adjusted i think that is uh, pretty good for me right now so i'm not going to do any color uh, temperature adjustment or white balance adjustment over here that's the reason i mentioned as a short okay and next i'm going to do with 
turning area so in the turning area basically i'll be adjusting little bit exposure also i need to reduce uh, i need to enhance my shadows over here because underexposed area anything is there that just i have to enhance and some highlight information i need to increase also i am going to increase some whites so let's see how can we do that so now we, we have done with that next we are going to presets so in that i am going to increase the my clarity as well as texture and i am going to reduce my haze over here also i am going to increase my uh, vibrance to enhance my dull color and saturation so i am adjusting my texture over here and just giving the value of 7 and next time increasing my clarity so that can be given by 9 okay also i am uh, increasing my haze over here okay so uh, reducing haze any foggy kind of things is there it will remove from this image and also because it's raining day obviously in the inside the forest there will be so some haze will be there so i'm reducing that actually and next i'm going to adjust my vibrance so that little bit i'm adjusting also i'm adjusting saturation tone curve i'm not going to do anything over here tone curve because the uh, tone curve and uh, uh, the basic settings almost works same so i'm not going to do anything also i'm not going to do any color correction in uh, here hsl or hue saturation and luminance i'm not going to do anything over here because it's almost perfect here okay so i don't want to do anything right now and split toning also i'm not going to do anything because i don't want to split any colors because it's very natural colors so i don't want to do any splitting over here so coming to the detail part here i'm just enhancing my sharpen value okay also i'm reducing my color noise over here i know uh, reducing my luminance noise over here okay so almost we have done with everything i'm not going to do any calibration or nothing over here because it's all, everything is perfect for me okay now i'm going to export this image to photoshop i'm going to select my location i selected output the image format is psd and color space is srgb now i exported my image okay so i just want to show you how before and after of this image see we have done only minor changes in the images but it looks totally different because this image was little bit dull this image was like clear and the subject is really focused here you focus on your subject understand your subject what is the mood of the subject based on that you should do the color correction okay now i am going to do the minor changes in the photoshop okay now i open my image in the photoshop okay so here i need to enhance my subject here also i need to give some depth over here because i'm getting more focus to this area so i need to reduce also uh, while creating the depth i'm giving some light information over here so for that right button duplicate layer okay i'm going to uh, do it with multiply blending option and i'm reducing my blending mode value okay this is perfect over here but but the depth is created on the snake also so i don't want to do that one so for that i'm coming layer layer mask and selecting my layer select my layer and go to brush tool and make sure that your foreground color is black okay and after that i'm going to just paint top of the snake or i'm going to fill the black color top of the snake now my subject is still more focused okay see can you see it my next option is giving some color tone to entire image so for that i'm going to select my lookup option from my adjustment layer okay and here what i'm going to do first i'm going to adjust my opacity strength of the uh, that particular layer and i'm going to select tension green now what happened here you can see green color tone is applied to the image and its name of the color is tension green because it's more close to the subject because i face some tension that might be the reason so that is a color mode i'm creating right now okay the next is i just want to enhance some brightness for that i'm coming over here adjustment layer and selecting the brightness and contrast and selecting the brightness property I'm enhancing my lights okay then I'm selecting my mask layer again I'm taking the brush tool 
making sure that my uh, foreground color is black I am just painting almost clear over here and it's popping out actually that's what you are seeing right now it's okay now the final thing I need to like give some sharp sharpening over here okay into the eye part so for that uh, what I'm going to do, I'm selecting my master line and come in and selecting my sharpen tool and just two touch. Okay. Also in the top layer, two touch. So here I am just sharpening the eye part. Okay. So we have ended up with the final color correction. So we have done with that. Now the, the final thing I'm going to apply watermark over here. Okay. For that, I'm going to import my watermark. I import my watermark here. I'm placing that watermark in the right position okay and uh, I think it's there is some negative space over here so I just want to reduce the negative space for that I'm going to crop this image for that I'm going to set my crop tool and the ratio I'm going to set 16 to 9 okay so I think it's perfect right maybe rule of third I applied over here okay it's a perfect rule of third now just aligning once more into my watermark see now we have done with the basic color correction of pitch wiper okay the mobile users i just want to tell you you don't want to worry about software which we are using only understand the concept and understand the principle and the same principle can be applied in any softwares or uh, any applications okay just understand the concept keep clicking the images and make your camera to speak okay that's all so thank you so much for watching this video so if you have any doubts if you need more clarification about any steps please comment it below once again uh, thank you so much for watching this video i'll be back with another amazing beautiful video see you bye